All right, so this is going to be my next PCGS submission, four coins here. Um, this one isn't really a big deal. Uh, these are the ones that I really am looking forward to grade. This one is just a 1957 Denver. It's in really nice shape. I am trying to go for an MS66 at least. Um, this definitely has less scratches than the 1957 uh, Philadelphia that I graded, so I'm hoping it'll get the, uh, MS-66 red, um, but besides this, I am getting the 1883 no sense graded. This will probably get, like, an extremely fine or an AU, hopefully. Hopefully an AU, um, I have a feeling it'll probably get like an AU55 um, or something close to that. I also have a 1939 Proof Penny, which with some really great toning on it as well. This one is a little scratched up, at least that's what I think. Uh, I'll have to look at it under the scope again, just to make sure. But I mean, it's got some really beautiful toning. This will get the proof grade for sure. I just don't know what the, the actual grade it will be. And then I also have this really beautiful 1944 Denver that has some really nice, uh, I, I guess you could say space toning, like it really looks like space, like outer space. Got some purple, blue, uh, some red on the outsides and some white as well. The reverse is normal pretty much, but this is probably gonna come back as red brown or brown actually, sorry. Um, actually, I'm not sure if it's gonna either be red brown or brown because of the reverse. The reverse looks red. The obverse is brown. So yeah, I'm gonna look at this one under the scope so you guys can see. So, all right, so I'm hoping that this coin will get at least an MS-66 or higher, maybe an MS-67 plus or something like that. But as you can see, there are very few scratches. There's a couple on his uh, cheeks, on his nose, one, one on his nose, one right above the E in Liberty. And I think there's a there was a small scratch on, above the Y, but you can't really see it on camera right now. But this is truly a really beautiful coin, really beautiful uh, toning. Um, I'm gonna flip it over for the uh, or sorry the reverse. The reverse is also fairly nice. There's no there's not too many uh, scratches or, or dents in the font. There's one small little scratch on the bottom of the N and the T, but that's about it. There's no huge scratches on here. There's a few small scratches below America, and that is about it. But really beautiful coin. I'm really hoping that this will come back at least as an MS-66 or higher. This one, I'm probably expecting this to come back as like a proof. Honestly, I don't even know if it's possible to get a proof AU or like a proof 58 or something like that, but I'm really hoping it'll be in the 60s. Uh, I just really want to get this graded because of the toning. The toning is just amazing. You can't really see the toning on camera, but it's just wow. Like I've never seen something this cool before. Also this, this is the nicest uh, Liberty V nickel that I've ever held and I really wanna preserve this. So I'm gonna get this graded as well. And then obviously for this one, I'm trying to go for a high grade, hoping for an MS-66 or higher. Any higher than an MS-66, I will be really happy.